Welcome back. Welcome back. Between the lines of Coach Stella, everybody call me ill. I'm here big with bro, big bro. our namesake of the show, Coach Stella, the man, the myth, the legend. Up, it's week one. Woo, Coach. We just went to where the road, the state going to okay. take us through. Talk to now, me. it's week one. What's some, before we get into our Ellie House games of the week. Okay. Yeah, games. Yep. Games. Two up. Two up. Right. Right. But um, what other intriguing matches should, should our followers keep their eye on? I'm, I'm going to give them four matchups to keep their eye on real quick. Uh, it's hard to go in detail because we ain't seen a lot of teams. But real quick, locally, JFK at Liberty. Right. JFK struggled last year. We know they got a lot of tradition. They want to get back to winning ways. Liberty played well on the back half of the season, and they got a lot of athletes. Keep your eye on Dewan Moody, sophomore quarterback at Liberty. Right, he can right, go. Right. So keep your eye on that game. Um, Walsh Jesuit traveling down to Ursuline. Walsh Jesuit is a great program. Um, we all know how good of a program Ursuline is. To me, that's a good, interesting battle. Week one is like a two different styles. You know what I mean? It's almost like boxing uh, fight uh, styles make fights. You know right, what I mean? Right. So let's keep your eye on that one for sure. And 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 more so like the Cleveland area, Avon at St. Ignatius. Avon is one of them programs, bro. They underrated. A lot of people don't talk about them, bro. Um, they Division One or Division Two. Sorry, I, I could be wrong. One or two, but. They are coming. Right. They beat Cam McKinley last yeah, year. Yeah, they beat Cam McKinley last in the year. Early, in the early right. part of the season. Yes, right. bro. And then um, they could produce a lot of big-time linemen. They got a good quarterback that's back. They got a D1 corner. And they're coming. And they playing St. Ignatius, who I think, after struggling last year, I think they're going to have a better year this year. Right. St. Ignatius is my upset alert special team this year. Okay. That's okay. St. Ignatius that's is my upset alert. Upset. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm just, that's my one team. I'm riding them upsets. Week 10. I'm right. not saying every week they're going to get like, one. They, you don't think they like the way that, that played they out don't. last year, right? They don't, bro. Just knowing the tradition, bro. So I'll say that game right there, Avon at St. Ignatius. And then the last game, more so, this game intrigues me af athletically because it's Euclid at Fitch. Mm. Both of them sides got boys. Right, right. They're going like, to have boys. Um, So just as far as just watching athletes play football, if you want to just go watch some athletes play football. Run it down for them again. Here we go. Euclid at Fitch. If you want to watch at athletes, Fitch. go to Euclid at Fitch. If you want to watch a, a program that's trying to get back to where they were against a program that's trying to get over the hump, Avon at St. Ignatius. Okay. Um, if you want to watch kind of two good programs, just kind of duke it out and see where they at in week one, Walsh Jess with that Ursuline. And if you kind of want to look at two local teams, kind of that both of them trying to get back to winning ways and get over the hump, get to the playoffs, JFK at Liberty. So I would say them the four intriguing matchups, brother. Okay.